on the idea of oneness, uh, maybe the power of one, uh, whether uh, Catholic, whether uh, Muslim, whether any branch of Christianity that you might choose, uh, there are some things that hold us all together. And my adult life has focused on something that I didn't realize was so powerful amongst each and every one of us. And it was the power of one. Because regardless of what type of label you use to describe yourself in your faith, in your religious belief, uh, I even like to have conversations with those that claim to be non-believers. Because the thing that holds us together is one, there's one God. Many names, but the one God. And we find ways as humans to separate ourselves, to make ourselves more special than someone else. But the reality is that one God has some characteristics that bind us all together. Love, peace, joy, kindness, and the one I like to remind people about that no one really likes, long-suffering. <laughs> it is an aspect of the God that holds us all together. Because even in the midst of storms, we must all be held together. And so let us continue to while there are things that seek, seek to divide us, to separate us, let those of us that believe in the idea of there really is only one God. And as we look around the room, the one God that can have us manifested in so many different ways, let us allow the voice of that one God to be heard so that we don't repeat or continue to repeat the mistakes of the past to allow division to occur, to cause voices to be quieted. This is why it seems like now where everyone has a right uh, that they're trying to fight for their voices to be heard. In this country, slavery and racial segregation had been an issue. But then there were those now were striving, were, 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 we see we're struggling to allow the voices of women to be heard. There are people, the voices that have different sexual orientations that their voices are seeking to be heard. There are some things that we do not understand and let us not in our understanding or lack of understanding, let us not get into the temptation to separate ourselves in a way that doesn't allow us to continue to operate in love, continue to operate in kindness, continue to operate in peace, continue to operate in forgiveness, and even while we continue to not understand, continue to operate in this idea of long-suffering. In the Christian Bible, in one of the Psalms, it says, weeping may endure for the night, but joy, comes in the morning. In the darkness of our lives, there's always a sun to rise. There's always someone that comes to speak a word of peace. When we were young, like these little ones, and didn't think that, and they, and they have so few things to focus on, so they think that things that happen like someone not being their friend, or them losing a toy, or losing a loved one, that that's the end. But the power of one allows us to know that there's never the end. There's always the beginning of another opportunity to be bound together in love, to be bound together in kindness, be bound together in peace, to be bound together in even long suffering. I think the world calls this support groups. 
in our grief and in our suffering, we learn to encourage one another. Again, based upon the principles of the power one of one. And then let me also, let us be reminded that a good example of this is the prophet Muhammad and the angel Gabriel, who if my studies are correct, gave some of the first words for the Quran to the prophet Muhammad, who brought Gabriel, the messenger for God, brought the message of life. The same Gabriel who brought the message of life through in our Christian Bible, Mary, the mother of Jesus, the earthly mother of Jesus, the same God that regardless of what part of the world that you're in, regardless of what phase of your life that you're in, the God always sends a messenger. A message of life, brings a message of life. And let us be reminded that that message that comes from above, just as the rain falls from the sky, just as the snow may fall, just as the sun comes down, let us always be reminded of those things that come from the above are so heavenly and so precious. And let us not give in to the temptation to reach for the things that come from the earth as the source of our strength. Let us always look to those things that come from above the heavenlies that allow us to be one people bound together in the principles of the one God. Love, peace, joy, kindness, forgiveness. And don't ever let us forget long suffering because we, weeping may endure for the night. But there will be joy in the morning. God bless you. The peace of God continue to be upon you. Let it surround you. Let it be your eyes and let it be your guide. And everything really will be all right. <laughs>